This video is all about how to invest in yourself. So, I haven't wrote down any tips, any notes like I normally do. It's just going to be a, a free hand video just off the top of my head. So, basically, I do believe that it's really, really, you know, essential that everyone invests in themselves, whether this be physically or mentally, spiritually, or all three. So, I do believe that you need to invest in, you know, believing in a higher being, higher than yourself, whether you choose to believe in God, the universe or angels, having something to believe in that is higher than yourself, you know, and that you invest in this will give you faith, will give you peace of mind, will give you that knowledge that there is something out there supporting you at all times and investing into God because I choose to believe in God will help you in your everyday life when you're struggling when you're feeling good about something when things are going right God is always there God's always has your back so investing in God is a great way to uplift your life and you know make the most out of your life I do believe also that investing in yourself physically you know, by going to the gym, walking, taking care of your diet, your health is also important because the way you look on your exterior will affect how you feel on the inside. If you look good, you feel good. And if you feel good, you look good. So hang on, wait there. Let me. So, oh, yeah, the importance of drinking water as well. Water is essential, you know. It's if you want to get away from drinking, you know, fizzy drinks, alcohol and stuff, st stick to herbal teas and water. It's really good for your mental health, really good for your physical health, really good because what you eat, what you drink shows on the on your exterior. So the more goodness you put into yourself, into your soul, the more it will radiate on the outside. So I do believe also investing in your mental health is really important because by investing in your mental health, you're looking after your mind, your brain and your, this is an investment for the future because once you lose your mind, once you lose your sanity, I would say there's no going back, but in, you know, I, that happened to me and I did turn it around, but in most cases there is no going back. I was fortunate enough you know, when I lost my mind, when I went, you know, in, in my theory, when I went totally insane and I completely lost it, I got my mind back and that was through medication and my belief in God and putting myself on the positive path, on the right path, getting myself off the bad path, getting away from bad people. I got my mind back. That's how why I realised how important your mind, how important your mental health really is. Mental health is so important look after your mind don't mix with drugs alcohol if you're going to drink maybe just when you go out occasionally not all the time majority of the time stick to your herbal tea stick to tea stick to water have a clean mind have a clear mind because you only have one mind and i tell you you don't want to lose it because it's horrible when you haven't got your mind there that is another thing to invest in also, invest your time in self-development by reading books. Um, try to progress in life by reading self-help books. Um, anything to motivate you to become a better person. Um, yeah, I also find that um, with me, I like to do go for walks, do steps in the house if it's too cold to go outside. I also like to strength train in the house or at the gym and I like to nourish my body with protein, water, green tea and stay away from drinking alcohol. That's how I've kept myself sane. Um, I've kept myself away from bad influences, bad people or just anyone toxic in my life who was holding me back from fulfilling God's purpose, God's mission, who maybe didn't support me in what I was doing. So yeah, another way invest in investing in yourself is to get away from fake people, toxic people, fake people who are holding you back, who don't have faith in your ability to succeed on your life mission, on your life purpose. So yeah, those are all the tips I have about 
how to um, invest in yourself, whether it be mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. I hope you've gained some insight into how to invest in yourself from this video and I hope to see you again soon. Okay, bye.